I was still in high school, um, finished up, it was my senior year, so I finished up like all my sports, I think I was playing golf at the time, um, and I started to honestly like have a little bit more fun, I had more free time, and ultimately uh, idle time is the devil's workshop, and uh, so I started meeting up with uh, new groups of people, uh, going to different parties, um, just kind of like exploring more life. Uh, during this time, I found this girl, this girl who I was attracted to, um, who was, was kind of like, I mean, she was kind of a girl that would play around with other guys, but never really commit to any guys, okay? Um, why was I attracted to her? I don't, I don't know. Uh, I just, I was attracted to this girl, okay? So... Uh, obviously, I got her Snapchat somehow, like from a friend or something. Um, but every time I would go to a party to see her, it was like I didn't want to go up and talk to her. But I was attracted to her. And so then I would go up and like ultimately, like I would see her and I wouldn't immediately just go say something. I would just like kind of wait around to, to find a good time to go in and talk. Um, she had a close friend of hers who I was friends with, who I would talk to. That's kind of how like we got to know each other. And um, this close friend, I would talk with her and then like try to butt in and talk to the other girl. But then it was always awkward. It was always like a weird conversation, weird way. And I, I never knew why. I never knew why it was weird. And... Um, then I would like, then that party, then we'd leave that party and then I would like Snapchat her and we would like get along and we would have fun Snapchatting and talking and texting and, and then, and then sometimes she would just like leave me on open or whatever. Right. And Grant, this is 2018, 2019. Um, and so you know, Snapchat isn't what it is today. Um, it was a different time, but when she leave me on, like, no one, I, I didn't Snapchat people and, like, I didn't want someone that bad because I was always focused on sports and, like, myself. And at this point, I was like, this person that I want doesn't want me. Like, she's just leaving me on open. Like, she isn't, and I would, she would send me a message and I would immediately send her back whatever just to respond so then I can get something else back but then it would just stay there for hours and then I would see like she post on her story and I'm like well obviously she saw my snapchat but she's posting on her story why and I was like really I wanted this girl and what I realized is that she doesn't want me And I, I hadn't had this experience before. I hadn't had someone who was just like, it was like playing hard to get. And I was being played. And so I started to analyze that situation. It started to look like, why? Why is this the case? Like, what? I'm obvious. Like, it's, it's me. I'm doing something where, like, she doesn't want me. Why does she not want me? What's the issue with me? And I, so I started to understand that I was desperate. I started to portray a neediness. Which if you know anything about girls, you know they don't they don't want they don't like guys who are desperate. They don't want any sort of guy that's desperate. And so this neediness and this desperation, like, made me look unattractive. And that would compound. And it came to a point where I would, like, I almost put her on a pedestal. Where it was, like, hard for me to talk to her because I was so desperate and needed her so much that I then lost confidence in my own capabilities to speak. To talk to her. See, I wasn't a confident person. 
even though I should have been, like you would look back and in, in like my life at 18 years old, like I had a lot of stuff going for me. I was good. But with this particular girl, I just wasn't confident in myself. And so what I understood after that point, I completely got rid of her. Anytime she, I, I just, I was done. I was like, okay. I've got to move on because she doesn't want me. I need to move on and do something else. So I stopped talking to her, unfollowed her on all the stuff. I right? did all of that and I realized that I didn't have the capabilities to bring on a girl into my life because I wasn't confident in myself that I could take care of myself, much less bring on a girl to take care of, right? And the girls understand this. They know this. And so what I needed to do was focus on myself. And so if you're in this situation where you, you keep on like going up to girl, like having that weird conversation, awkward conversation with girls and girls just like, they're not texting you back. They're not responding to your messages. Like you seem desperate and you know that you, you know that you seem desperate. Stop talking to girls. Stop. Cut it out completely. No, girls, none at all. Instead, focus on yourself. Start to build yourself up in a way in which you're confident in your word. Not your word to others, but your word to yourself. See, so many people go throughout the day and just constantly lie and let themselves down. Think about it. This morning, when you got up to your alarm, was that, was that the first alarm that you got up to? Or was it the second, third, fourth? Did you say that you were going to get up to that alarm? Right? Or, or going to the gym. Did you go to the gym today? Did you say maybe a few weeks back that you would start going to the gym? That's something that you were going to start putting into your life? See, we constantly lie to ourselves. We don't stay true to our word to ourselves. And so if we can't stay, as men, if we cannot stay true to our own word to ourselves, how in the world would anyone trust that our word is good for them? How are you going to be able to take care of a girl? If she knows that when you say something to yourself, like you're not going to, follow through with it. You're not going to hold it. So when she brings something to you, or there's no way that you're going to follow through and hold her because you can't do it with yourself. So what I understood is that focusing on myself would inevitably lead me to the goals and aspirations that I wanted in my life to have the confidence in myself. And see, through this confidence, then I could start to experience new things. Experience stuff for myself because ultimately when it comes to women and men, women are based on their past and their preservation of their past. Their character, their values, their morals. That's how we judge women. Ultimately, how society judges women is based on the past. For men, they are judged on their future on the goals and dreams that they have set for themselves and how likely and capable they are to achieve those. Now, obviously, between both, yes, they're like, yes, women need to like look into the future and yes, men need to like look into their past a little bit. Obviously, it's give and a take, but that's genuinely how it is. And so what we need to do in order to prove to ourselves that we are going to hit our goals in the future and prove to others that we can hit those goals in the future, we need to make sure that the things that we do today, we are doing. We are following through with them. We have a track record that shows, okay, he, he's done this. He's done what he said he was going to do. Consistently. So when he says he's going to hit this goal, it's very likely that he's going to hit that goal. And how do you gain the confidence in yourself to understand that you will hit that goal? Well, that's experiencing things. That's going out and working out daily when you say you're going to work out daily. Actually doing the daily task. 
That's making sure that you're eating the right things. That's making sure that you're disciplining yourself every single day. That way you can prove to yourself that you are capable of doing the things you need to do. Because ultimately, when you get down to it, to have ultimate confidence in yourself, you need to have proven to yourself that you can do that thing. You have certainty that you can accomplish that task. So if it's getting a girl, you need to have experienced in your past trials and tribulations, failures, hardships, things that you have already experienced in your past. You need to experience all of that, the good, the bad, and the ugly, everything. Experience that, understand it, comprehend it, reflect on it, move it forward. Ultimately, that will lead you to success. That will lead you to full confidence in yourself. One to where you can now go into situations, you can now, uh, whether it's with a girl or maybe it's a business deal or maybe it's an interview, anything with full confidence in yourself that, hey, I'm the best for this job. I'm the best man for you. See, when you say that to a girl and you believe that with conviction, with true authenticity in the voice and the way that you project yourself with full confidence, see, that emulates attractiveness into a girl because she understands that your future is bright. Because if you're doing this with her, then you likely are doing it in other situations as well. And ultimately, you will have the negotiating power over everything in your life. See, in negotiations, it comes to what you have and are bringing to the table and if you are willing and able to leave or not. See, the person who is willing and able to leave has more power than the person who is desperate and needy. So what I found with that girl is that she was willing and able to leave, and so I was desperate. Don't be the desperate person in a relationship. Don't be the desperate person in a business. Don't be a desperate person in your life. Become that confident man. One that is true to his core, to his character, to his identity, and is able to go out with confidence, he can accomplish his goals. We are building these men in our community, and I highly, highly recommend you join. It's linked down below. Guys, I will continue to be here for you, continue to be vulnerable, and give you just raw data, raw information that I've experienced in my own life, so hopefully you can take that and do what you want with it. If you enjoyed this, please let me know in the comments below. Give me some feedback, how I can improve, how I can make stories better, longer, shorter, whatever it may be. And if you didn't like it, please let me know that as well. And um, the best ways that I can go about making these videos better for you. Appreciate you guys as always. In the end, together we rise. Talk to you in the next one.